everybody, it's Dr. Kevin with Balancing Body Restoration. And in today's video, I want to share with you a brief demonstration that is designed to help explain why you might be struggling to perform a movement that involves you having to bend forward and touch your toes. Now, for context, I believe that having the ability to bend forward and touch your toes is one of the most important functions of a healthy spine and that we typically find for people who are struggling with chronic back pain or tightness usually struggle with movements that involve forward bending as well. However, I know that there are a lot of people who may have tried to fix this problem in the past, usually with a particular set of stretches and exercises that are designed to help fix tightness that people feel within a muscle in the back of their leg known as the hamstring muscle. However, in this demonstration, I'm explaining to you why hamstring tightness is usually not the cause of why you can't touch your toes and why actually stretching hamstrings could actually be making your pain and your problem worse. And from there, I want to share with you what the real cause of the problem actually is and then share you some ideas on how to actually fix it. Now, this video is a snippet from a much more comprehensive video that I did about this entire topic that you can find in the link in the description below. But with that said, now let's get right into the demonstration for today. All right, so what I'm going to do next is to show you a demonstration just to kind of highlight and go in much more detail and depth to explain to you what is the actual underlying cause and mechanism that's actually causing most people's inability to touch their toes and where it's actually coming from and why it's not coming from tightness within the hamstring muscle, which most people actually seem to believe, okay? Now, the most important thing that I want you to realize is that when anybody actually bends forward to touch their toes, that it's not just their hamstring muscle that's being put under stretch or being put under tension, but rather it is actually every single muscle fiber that resides within the backside of your body that's actually being put under stretch and actually being put under tension. And what we really try to do is really look at the body from a much more bigger picture perspective and really seek to understand how everything in the body is actually interconnected. And instead of viewing all of our muscles as individual muscles working, in, working separately, what we try to do is refer to all these muscles as a collective chain of muscles that are all working together. And what we try to call these muscles that reside within the backside of our body is again a chain of muscles known as the posterior chain. So what I'm going to do is to kind of use this orange band here just to kind of signify what I, may, what I mean by this posterior chain. And instead of, again, viewing things as kind of a bunch of singular muscles, we want to try to view our back muscles as a one long chain of muscles that essentially runs from the back of my skull all the way in towards my neck, in towards my uh, shoulders, into my back, into my hips, down into my hamstrings, and down into my calves, and down into my feet. And that if I actually have enough flexibility or mobility within this posterior chain, then I should be able to bend forward with relative ease. There should, I should feel no tightness. I should feel no restrictions. And should nothing be really getting in the way of me being able to touch the ground, um, with, again, without any real problems. Okay? Now, what seems to happen for people, especially for people who are struggling with a lot of tightness within the back or a lot of stiffness within the back, or people that, that just have a lot of muscle knots is something like this will happen, okay? So what we're going to do here is just to kind of, uh, you know, break this rope down into two different halves. So if this kind of halfway mark just kind of signifies where my hips kind of meet here, all right? So everything from this halfway point down is to kind of signify my hamstrings down to my calves and to my foot. Anything from this halfway point is going to signify with every, everything that's going on with my back up and towards my shoulder and towards my neck, all right? So for a lot of people, again, that have a lot of tightness within their back, or just have a lot of spasms or just have a lot of restrictions within their back is we're just going to tie a couple of knots within the upper half of this rope all right and again this is going to happen for a lot of people who are you know struggling with their posture or who aren't really doing much stretching or doing much flexibility work of their back itself or just for people who are always kind of stressed or always have just or, or just who always carry just a lot of like chronic tightness or a lot of tension is something like this is actually going to happen where i'm going to kind of tie a couple of these knots because this is kind of what happens for people who have a lot of restrictions within um, their back with regards to their posterior chain. And what I'm going to do is just to kind of highlight to you what happens when I try to perform that forward bending movement now, right? So the first thing that you might notice is how much shorter this rope actually is and that me, if I just want to like stand up straight, there's already a lot more tightness and just a lot more tension with this, this entire chain just because of the fact that, that that posterior chain is a lot shorter due to all the knots within on my back. And the thing I wanna highlight is, is when I actually try to bend forward like so, is right when it gets about here, I actually don't want to go any further than this because I feel so much tightness, I feel so much tension within this band that if I go any further, I'm, I'm afraid that things, the thing's actually gonna snap, okay? And this is what I believe is happening for a lot of people who have just a lot of restrictions within the entire chain itself is that they just will lack the flexibility to be able to bend. 
However, the misconception is, is that what's going to happen is when I actually try to bend is that what I'm going to feel is I'm going to actually feel a lot more of the tightness, a lot more of the tension actually coming from my hamstring and everything down below. And because I actually feel the tightness and the tension in this lower half here, that makes me feel like I actually need to stretch or actually need to be able to elongate this area. But you can clearly see that that's not only actually going to actually solve the underlying issue because of the fact that there are just so many restrictions within the back itself. And that if I actually try to stretch and elongate this, I'm actually just going to make things potentially worse because I'm creating more tension and more tightness within the system and still leaving some of the underlying root causes still unaddressed. Okay. Now, that's the irony for a lot of people who have a lot of tightness within their back that you know are unable to actually physically bend it. It's actually coming from back tightness itself, and it's actually not coming from hamstring tightness in most cases. And the only way to actually fix this issue is to actually be able to identify and release all these knots and all these kinks, and just to hopefully restore the length and restore, you know, and release some of that tightness within the back. Um, you know, sometimes through various forms of hands-on manual therapy various massage techniques or obviously, you know, with effective, you know, stretches and ways to learn how to release tension within the muscle is that only by doing that and actually being able to identify and release some of these knots, can I actually be able to, um, you know, safely restore the length within that chain to the point where when I actually am able to bend forward, all right, only at that point is when I'll be able to bend forward uh, with ease, without much pain and without much resistance, okay? So what I want to do next is to um, share with you a couple of assessments that you can do just to kind of show you what this problem actually looks like when we're actually working with certain patients so that we know that back tightness or back stiffness is actually something that we need to be able to address. And then from there, we're going to show you or highlight some of the most common causes of why this might actually be happening. And from there, you know, based on what your problem may be, to show you some of our favorite strategies and form of stretches and exercise to be able to help you solve some of these issues um, for good. So uh, with that said, let's get right into the next part of this video.